Hey everyone, welcome back. Apologies about the camera being a little bit too colorful, I would say. I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, the lighting here is uh, a little bit uh, less than perfect. But uh, I want to introduce you to the tournament that I'm going to play. It's called the Grenke Chess Open. And uh, this page that we uh, see in front of us is the grenkechessopen.de, if I'm not wrong. And, um, well, let's have a quick look at what we're dealing with. Tournament's gonna start uh, on uh, Thursday, 6.30 Germany time. And, uh, well, I have approximately... 13 hours from the moment of the recording until the first round. I had uh, quite an interesting trip, but uh, I'll share the details later. It was a very long trip. So, uh, let's see. So this is the website. If I press the announcement, then I'll get uh, some details about the tournament. I'm actually reading it for the first time myself, so we'll discover it together. Let's see the registered players. Okay, so usually when I play in an open tournament, I'm about uh, between seed number one and number 30. Uh, in the past few years, this has been the vast majority on, of my tournaments. But here, it seems like uh, it's not going to be the case. Tournament is very strong. Number 30 is 2579, Gabor Pap. We'll see. I'll read some of the names later. But I see myself only at seed number 48. And it's not like uh, number 49 until 60 are significantly low rated or something. There's so many strong players in this tournament and uh, I'm very excited to, to play. So it seems like <laughs> so many strong players. Seed number... What was it? Number 102 is Thomas Beardsden. Beardsden was also known as uh, Menir Maggio on Liches. And uh, he seemed to be doing uh, very well in the Batavia uh, Chess Open. Where it wasn't an open, but yeah. Batavia Chess Tournament, uh, where, where I played uh, about a month ago. And uh, I think he took second place with a wonderful score of six out of uh, nine. And yeah, very talented young player and still only number 102 in the tournament. So it's going to be a rough ride. So I'll read out some names just to see who I have here. Who I will meet. There is another thing I will show you in a moment. Not sure where to find it on the site, but we'll get there. So Nikita Vitugov from the Ukraine. And uh, yeah, Etienne Bakro from France. Maxim Atlakov from Russia. It's, it's not uh, the easiest uh, list. Richard Rapport is number four in the tournament. It's ridiculous. Igor Kovalenko, Ivan Saric, Gata Kamsky, Moisienko, Alexander Moisienko from Armenia. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's from, from the Ukraine as well. I was uh, thinking about Muxesian in my head. So, anyway, uh, Fedosiev from Russia, a very talented young player. Kasper Prioron from Poland and so many strong grandmasters. It's like, it's just, the, the list is endless. I'll just quickly scroll down, or slowly scroll down so you can see a little bit more names. Mm. I feel like reading them all out loud. Just, uh, I recognize the majority of the names. And, uh, well, quite a lot of strong players. This is getting, <laughs> getting, uh, 
very competitive before it even started. So I see some names I recognize also right here, but the top 100 players are extremely strong as far as I can tell. So this is the list. Let's have a quick look at another thing and one of the main reasons that I decided to play in this tournament. Um, it's uh, the fact that Magnus Carlsen and other seven st very strong players are going to participate. I'm not sure where I can see the list of, of, of the super tournament, but we're supposed to be in the same uh, playing hall. So let's have a quick look. So Matthias Blubaum won the last year's uh, Open right here and uh, he will participate together uh, with the other seven top players in the closed tournament. I think it's called the Grand Chess Classic. But um, well, let's see the announcement. Actually, we'll look at it in a moment, but I believe somewhere here I could see few moments ago the the classic uh, participants but well I guess it should be somewhere here <laughs> it's in German so we, we can ch change to English right here during the tournament, by the way, if you press live, you will see the live games. Let's see what happens if I do it now. So it takes us to chess 24. And uh, yeah, this is last year's game. As you can see an engine. By the way, whenever I look at the game with an engine uh, like this, it always opens automatically. I press this button, the burger like button and then computer analysis and voila, no more. So, I don't see the list of, uh, of the classic, Grand classic players anywhere. But uh, I'm going to take a few more seconds to find it. I believe when pressing the video I, co I could have seen it earlier, so... Somewhere here. No. Alright. So... Let's have a quick look. So... These are gonna be the 8 participants of the Grand Chess Classic. So, Magnus Carlsen, Fabiano Caruana, Levon Aronian, Maxim Vashiel Agrav, Arkady Naidic, Georg Meyer, Howie Fan, and Matthias Blubaum. So, excuse me if I uh, mispronounce any of the names, but uh, a very strong field uh, indeed. And even though the, the three uh, low rated players are below 2700, I, th I think all of them are extremely talented and can surprise any one of the strong players. And uh, can can perform much better than the rating if in good shape. Especially Arkady Naidic, who's uh, known to cause a lot of troubles to Carlsen in the past uh, several encounters, including beating him with black in uh, this in the last edition of of, uh, of this tournament uh, a year ago, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, Arkady Naidic is. Uh, the only player in the middle, I would say, is around 2700, probably a bit uh, higher rated than 2700. The other four are closer to 2800 or much more. <laughs> and uh, these three are a little bit below, but uh, very talented and can, can any one of them, I think, can, can finish in the top half if they have a good tournament. So it's going to be exciting. I will be following the, the games, I think, even while I'm playing my own game. And uh, I will attempt to to maximize the experience of uh, being in the same room with all of these amazing players. So now 
let's have a look at the invitation. I'm not sure it's too interesting for uh, everyone involved, but uh, I'm just discovering it for the first time here. I have like uh, an hour to to burn until breakfast is ready. And then I'll tell a little bit about my own trip uh, over here. So let me see. So this is the invitation. All right. So as we can see, the tournament is starting tomorrow on the 13th. And uh, actually, it's technically today, actually, at the time of the recording. And I'll probably release the video uh, before the first round. So yeah, it will start in a few hours. And uh, then it will last for only five days, two rounds per day. That's going to be tough. So, playing venue, as you can see, the schedule. So, as mentioned, the first round is on 6.30, and then every single round is at 9 in a.m. in the morning or 3 p.m. afternoon, including the last round, which is nice. Usually, the last round is in the morning, but uh, I find it nicer this way. So, nine rounds was such a tough opposition on a twice day basis it's it's gonna be very very tough i'll need any, any piece of energy i can i can uh, i can get so hmm, what else so the tournament mode this seems interesting I don't see an increment, so let me see. Nine rounds, Swiss system, computer pairing, okay, this is regular. Two hours for 40 moves, plus 30 minutes for the rest of the game. So it seems like I don't see 30 second increment mentioned anywhere, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> I wasn't ready for it, I didn't see it in advance. Wow, this this is actually... If there are no 30 second increment, then it means like that that it's it's mandatory not to get into time pressure under any conditions. I mean, can you imagine having less than five minutes and playing? I mean, according to the rules, I think you don't have to to write in the score sheet anymore. But when when you have less than five minutes, but well, the 30 second increment doesn't is not mentioned so wow so <laughs> i want to stay above 30 minutes for for every game until the, the for the entire game this is ridiculous i i really hope it's a mistake in the invitation but if it's not uh, i'm gonna play for time just like in my blitz uh, live streams just playing for flagging the opponent this is ridiculous okay so Prizes, the registration, accommodation, arbiters, information. Well, seems pretty nice. The price pool is 40,000 euros and uh, technically even 800 more, but more than 40,000 euros. That's insane. The first prize is 10,000 euros and it's five times uh, bigger than the usual uh, prize in the tournaments where I where I uh, attempt to participate around Europe. So, and also in Israel, like 2,000 euros is a regular price between 2,000 to 3,000. This is insane. And not only the 10,000 euro first prize, if I remember correctly, it's also that uh, the winner of this open gets a ticket for next year's uh, closed tournament, if I understand correctly. So... Hmm. So, in the A Open there is 37,000 euros prize fund. And uh, these are the prizes. So, I'm not sure I understand everything, but it seems pretty self-explanatory. Uh, special prizes and so on. Entry fee, and uh, well, there's, then there's the B open, the C open, and so on. 
so that's more or less it now I'll tell you a little bit about my uh, my trip here and how it was so some people asked me that they want to know a little bit more about uh, my experience as a as a chess player or about my life so for the past uh, day I left Israel or let's say I left my apartment at around I would say 9 a.m. in the morning I had a flight around 12 p.m. yeah you can say 12 30 p.m. we took off I reached uh, Basel then from Basel taking a bus to the train station from the train station taking a train over here uh, to Karlsruhe then from the main train station uh, taking uh, two trams to reach the hotel and uh, eventually probably around 10 11 hours after I left my apartment I made it to, to this hotel and um, yeah from the moment I arrived I had like 24 hours until the first round but I immediately collapsed and fell asleep and uh, well now that I woke up I had a few hours to burn until I uh, go to breakfast which uh, is still I have more than an hour and a half to burn so uh, I feel like uh, this is a good time to conclude this uh, lovely improvised video and uh, I'm very excited I don't know what to expect uh, I haven't played serious a serious tournament for more than a month and every time I take such a, like a month or a longer break from a classical tournament it feels like I have to remaster the rules of the game and get back into shape so uh, I'm not sure how it will turn out because when playing two rounds a game uh, two, two games a day there's not so much time to adjust so I don't know. I'll try to focus on having fun and, and 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 absorbing the atmosphere of being the same in the same room with Carlsen and all the other two top players, and uh, to take it as I always do as a learning experience. So yeah, that's the tournament I'm going to to participate in. I'll try to record a bunch of videos today so that I can upload them throughout this. A week to maintain my daily video routine but obviously during the actual uh, games and afterwards I won't have too much time nor energy uh, but if I somehow manage by some miracle to 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 record something I, I might look at some key moments from the games or from my own games or maybe even the top games I'll see how I'm doing uh, but uh, I'll do my best to, to keep uh, up with my new routine of a daily video for you guys even if the, the quality is not necessarily too high but uh, again I'll try to do my best so thanks a lot for watching this tournament is gonna be exciting and uh, yeah I'll, gi I'll, I'll put a link for the live games and you can follow I highly recommend following the, the main event the classical uh, the Grand Chess Classic with the eight players playing uh, in a close tournament and uh, yeah I, there is simply no reason not to watch it if you have some time it's much better than watching my channel without seeing any top games so I would recommend doing both but if you had to pick one watch the the classic tournament all right so see you soon and uh, good luck at watching the tournament Bye.